Well, guys, I'm back to my Pokemon Moon playthrough. After taking care of Lost Trying the last episode, my team has radically changed from the last episode as I made a bunch of captures off screen. I see four of them. As X, I caught five Pokemon off screen, too. First off, Wishy Washy, which might be the first time I'm using one as, as well. And it's the same level as the trial one, too, so hopefully that means I can get, um,. Wishy-washy school in form? I guess we'll see later on. That's why I have it up front because I'm really curious to see. And Alola Mola, I haven't used one in a very long time. First time using one in Alola as well. That took forever to catch. And then Diglett, Alola and Diglett, which I caught off screen a while ago. Finally using that for the first time ever as myself. And of course Psyduck, need an extra water type on the team to replace the one water type I had. Carbink, set, hoping to try and use you for the first time. Especially with Sharp and hoping you can be very useful. And finally brought back Wingull. I actually, it took me literally in-game two hours to find one, but I managed to get myself a Feebass, hoping I can use one for the upcoming trial, but it turns out, even with the randomizer, in order to get Milotic, you ha it has to it has to hold a Marvel scale while leveling up. Now, unfortunately, on the Marvel scale here in Sun and Moon is very p late game, whereas in Old Sun and Ultra Moon, it's like right there. And now, of course, wait. Root si See, this is why I don't like. This is one thing I definitely don't like about Sun and Moon. I'm trying to press. Thank you. Down there. Uh, am I supposed to go this way towards the um village? I mean, that town. I'll take care of the next trial. But seriously, why is it this game cannot just, when I press on the screen, just show the map? Why is Rotom gotta do this stupid comment or move the screen around all the time? Just press on it. And yay, I can do school and form. Nice. Alright, you're gonna be definitely scary later on. But let's run away. There's nothing I want around here. Alright, so now head over here. Oh, no, 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 not this way, not this way, not this way. Oh my god, another counter. So that means now I gotta do school in form again. Oh my god, so annoying. But I'm still very curious why I have to go this way when well, I'm supposed to go deal with the pseudo Wudo. At least I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to deal with them. But then when I walked over there, you saw there was no me a message looked like. Let's see the map again. Now, Rotom, can you please load? Thank you. Zoom in more. Oh, so I do have to go that way. Then, why wouldn't the pseudo would have moved then? Oh my god. Why did I get off the Tauros? I am pressing the button to get off Tauros. Oh my god. Why would the pseudo would have not move then? I beat Lana. They should move when I walked over there. And here we go again with school inform. Oh my god, it takes so long. So annoying. Oh my fence! I mean the sign! You're not blocking my way, Dad. Watch, just go around it. Jesus. Oh, I have to press A instead of it being just, you know, automatic my walk over. Retarded. Alright, now to continue onward. Ooh, thank you. I need that for the upcoming trial. Appreciate that. And to be even more of a dick, might be OP. Where is the items at? I'll give that. Oh, I know. That's right. You already, have, you already have that on. So, yeah, never mind then. But yeah, I found a whole bunch of um, pearls and stuff when fishing up for Feebass. And I got a whole bunch of hard scales if I need them too. So, it made me very happy. But still. Took way too long to find Feebass. And then the fact that I can't get it because the game um, developers of the randomizer had to stupidly make it where you have to hold the prism scale still while level enough. And the prism scale being like late game compared to Ultra and Ultra Moon, which is literally right up to coming up. If this was Ultra and Ultra Moon, I can go back to that place that, remember that cave that leads to um ocean that needs Lapras to surf on? If I had Lapras, which I did now, I could actually go right back there and get the Prism Scale. 
but that's only an alt sun, alt moon. Sun and moon? Nope, it's much later on, so I can't even get Milo Tech, which I would like to use. And I would have used here with someone else instead, but nope. Game had other ideas. Very irritating. Bye bye, Magby. Which I do have a chance to get up there too, coming up. Along with Cubone. Uh, I think, um, Fletchland's there as well. Um, not Sizzle PD. S oh, Saladid. There we go. Saladid. Yeah. Alright, take you on. And I'm pretty sure there's an. Oh, yeah, I think there's a pathway that leads back to the ranch that has another item that I need to get my hands on, too. Well, oh boy, here we go. I'm sure you're going to have Sturdy. Gee, it would be nice wishy washy if it does have Sturdy. You could just destroy it anyway in one hit. It's dumb to have to deal with um, two hits again. Alright, Brian. Please don't have Sturdy, please. And then, of course, you had to have Sturdy. Oh boy. Alright, now I'm gonna save that and just do Fiend Attack. No need to do double damage when you're only one hit away from losing. No, and do that much OP damage. It's getting close to 21. Alright. Oh, oh my god, Tauros! Paths! So small! And of course, another rat, huh? And how close are you? Are? Oh yeah, this wouldn't be enough. So now here we go, another cutscene again of stupid schooling for me to just run away. All right, get off the Tauros. So now let's go and get this item, the TM. Ah, sleep talk's not really worth it. Right, go out here. Oh my god, another encounter! Annoying, another picky pack. Start being Trump Beacon Radicate, that way I can actually get, you know, EXP. You guys are just not worth it anymore. And of course, there we go again. Evolve, I mean, school and form. Alright, now, I know there's more trainers up here. Of course, got to deal with Team Skull as well. Yes. One of the Kahilis, or Kahunas, or whatever they're called, of the islands. Hot poop, but we have to face her much later on in the game, too. I think she's, like, on the last island. Before we get ready to Victory Road. Right, here we go. Now, let's show how it's done, Wishy Washy, and hopefully you'll level up here too. But I got a sinking feeling you're not going to, and I'll be sad. Right, faint attack. Oh, good job. Good job. But, oh, that's right, it wasn't the um, one shot, it was the EXP. Oh, yay! It actually worked. Good. That's what I was concerned about, not getting enough EXP. Alright, now I gotta get someone else up front. But of course, now I gotta deal with the cutscene. You're about to mess with the wrong Mudsdale! And trust me, you don't want to, especially if it has stamina! Alright. Yep, we'll be facing one day, Hapu. But can I please put someone else in front instead of, um, instead of, um, Wishiwashi? Plus, I'll have my own Mudsdale to ride on very soon once I get later on to the game. Now, uh, Winkle is the closest to evolve, so I'll put you up front. Should be more trainers. Toros can break the. Oh, there's the trainer right there. But I'm pretty sure there's another one, too. Alright. 
Cubone. Which, remember, there's a little in Marowak. That'd be kind of interesting to use, even though I did use Marowak recently, and oh boy, did it suck on Y. Almost, like, almost every single ground type I had on Y was just horrendously bad. So much so that all my, my pretty much my entire ground team I had for Claymont, I had to pretty much replace, like, very soon before I even faced them, because they were just so horrendously bad. They weren't doing anything, they couldn't survive a single hit and all that. It was just pain. And yes, I got so many rare candies. Alright, so now let's see what you're gonna be again. Another picky peck. Alright, run away. No interest in you. Alright, so here we'll kick over there. Yep, there's the art trainer, but let's see what's down here more. Oh yeah, that's right, this is a dead end. I can't go this way. There's some scoutland trainer blocking the way for quite a bit, and of course, nothing else left but that trainer, and then of course, another battle, Ooh, I think that's the psychic type Oracorio, nice, and in the next town coming up, I believe, the, um, the nectar, or whatever the item is, that allows Oracorio to change its forms is coming up, but I don't need that right now, I don't remember exactly what form it changes either, but you did give, do give out a bunch of EXP, And very bulky too, much to my annoyance. And hopefully take you out here. Yep. Or Corio down. And got a big chunk of EXP. Nice. Now, let's face you and then head to the next town finally. As Or Corio again, based! Because now I'm going to get level up. Because remember, trainer Pokemon give out more EXP than wild and one level higher too, base. Unfortunately, that most likely means now that you're probably going to survive free hits. Oh. Oh, come on. Hit yourself. Ah. Ow. That hurt. Yeah, that's going to do over half damage to knock you off if you do that again. So you know what? Let's go for the Hydro Vortex. I think this might be the first time I'm doing a Z-move in this series. And you know what's annoying about Sun Moon compared to Sun Ultra Moon? When you have the, um... The, um... Battle scenes on... In Sun and Moon, most of this cutscene still shows up, whereas Ultra and Ultra Moon actually fixes it. It's really irritating. If you play without the, um, battle animations. Went from like 515 to 577. Alright, Wingo got the 21. Now I gotta think of who else to go up front. So that's the last train around here. You know what? Yeah, put Diglett up front. Alright, here we are at the next city, and in that city in which I'm going to take on to, what was it called, Battle Royale or whatever, a new battle for um, Sun and Moon where four trainers battle at once, the goal is to knock each other, everyone out. However, this time around, because it's a trial one, we're supposed to, um, the battle goes on until someone loses. And hell, I've lost before! In the um, battle. Because they went ganged up on me one time. And of course, this nectar for Oracorio is up here. Or, I, or so I fought. I remember it being there. Why is it not showing up? It was like right down there. Apparently it's not there when it normally is there. So now they continue our word is of course there's Gladion, who we're gonna have to fight. Well, one of the fights we're gonna have to do. We have the Battle Royale Dome. 
a four-way free-for-all. As there's Kikui. <laughs> Pretend to be the Mask Royal. Professor? <laughs> You're not fooling anyone, Kikui. Yep, I've never got it. I've never done bat the battle royale thing except this trial one. Mostly, probably because it's um like post game stuff where you have to make competitive teams and all that. And I don't do online stuff either, so I never really got to do it. So here we go, my four way battle between me, Gladion, Kikui, and How. And remember, everyone can hit each other, and the battle ends. The first person loses. Whereas I think all other ones end when everyone lo everyone but one loses. Here, here we go. Diglett. Now this could be a little bit of a challenge because Hal has Bryony and he could beat me with that. But Rockruff can be destroyed by my Diglett. And then Gladion has Type Null, which offensively shouldn't be an issue since I'm part steel, but you never know. Diglett doesn't have a lot of HP and defense, so Type Null could hit hard still. Alright, so I'm trying to go for the easy win. So, the big strategy, of course, is to go... Oh, I can hit everyone! Alright, but the main goal is Rock Ruff. Quick Claw took effect. Or never mind. Ow! Oh, I just held on! Oh, that was close! See, I told you Brownie could be a problem. Rock Ruff's on the edge, too. Now, what's everyone else going to do? Tackle? Oh, yeah, of course, getting up on me. Well, I lost. Oh, of course, just like what happened before, like I said. Everyone ganged up on me. I like how the battle's going, even though it's over. So there we go. Alright. At least that's over with. And there's Kiawi, who is the next trial we're about to do later on, who uses fire. Alright. So now, gotta continue on to the next route because the trial is right up ahead on the next route. And of course, there's an item behind the super. Wait, no, I think there's an item in the supermarket parking lot and behind it. Or never mind. Wait, no, no, no. Gotta go back here, though, I think. Oh my god, Tauros! Why can't you fit there? That's plenty of room! Come on! HP up based. What? I can't actually use because I gave you all your max EVs off screen a long time ago, so that HP up is complete. Oh my god. Come on! How? I don't get this game. How is that not big enough for Tauros? That's plenty of room! It visually fits! Stupid! Alright, so now. We gotta go down here. Oh, it's right over here. Because there's trainers right here. And ocean of water route we gotta go through as well. Okay, you're not a trainer. See anything up here? Nope. Alright, here we go. Time to get on Lapras. And let's go searching. I know tentacles around here, and there's a trainer. But all the new encounters are going to be to my east, no, no, to my west, in a grass area heading towards the trial. Which is going to be a lot of encounters right there. And there's a sure skip. Which could be a problem for Diglett. Now who's going to go first is the question. Pull those. Yep, I'm going first. And of course not doing anything really. It's not very effective. Oh no. Oh no, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, shit. That's not good. Unfortunately, I don't think Diglett has anything super effective against you. Alright. Guess send out um, Psyduck. Alright, let's see what you got. Psyduck, first time using you. Water sport, really. I don't have... I don't even think I have a fire type yet. So that's not even worth it. 
Alright, confusion. Oh my god, that did less damage than Diglett did! Are you kidding me, Psyduck? You, that's embarrassing! Oh my god. Gee, I wonder if Water Pulse would have done more. Whew, thank god. Psyduck. The fact that your confusion did less damage than Diglett's not very effective, um... Um, Bulldoze, that's embarrassing. And there's Dewpiter. This is going to be a risky move. But hopefully Carbink's high special defense and defense is good enough to survive a hit. Because Dewpiter is still part water. But, now I have Smackdown. I'm actually faster too to my surprise. Ugh, couldn't knock it out. Infestation, that's not going to do anything. <laughs> One damage! The Aftermath did more damage too. Alright, down goes Dewpiter. Alright, so now I gotta heal up, um, a little, um, Diglett. I right, still got all my potions. Still got trainers right here to take care of. So here we go. No, get right past the Alolan Diglett. There is an item up here if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. There we go. Ah! Max Repel, you know what? I'll use that right now, because there's nothing I can think of that I want around here. And I don't want to get this episode done sooner, so we'll do that. Alright, now I gotta go down here because there's trainers over here as well. And I believe there's items down here too. Yep, there's one trainer. Alright, face you. I think there's another item right up there. Then I gotta go to the east and get on some new... Uh, get on an island where there's trainers right there as well. Oh, okay, Alolabola. Not based either. But hopefully, you'll be neutral. This is also risky, Diglett, because you're not in good HP shape. Sometimes, though, you gotta take a gamble. Quick! Oh, God, of course. Ah, yes. Qu um, Quick Claw goes into effect, but you still do Aqua Jet. Like, what's the point, then? Quick Claw took effect. Ouch. That did nothing, because you have all HP. Now your speed's minus two, but you have priority, so that's not going to help me. All right. Take the chance with Psyduck, then. And can you not disappoint me this time, Psyduck, please? Ah, yes, Cloud Nine, very useful. Alright, let's try Brick Break then. Oh my god! No! Aqua Ring! Oh no! It's gonna get more HP back than it lost! Oh no, I'm in big trouble. Alola Mola is so bulky that nothing really, my team's gonna really do anything to it. Oh my god, it's gonna get so much HP back. It almost got all the HP back! Oh my god! This Alola Bowl is so bulky! And that's why you know I wanted to use it. But of course, knowing my luck, mine's not gonna be that bulky. Alright, not doing enough damage. I know it's not very effective, but it's the strongest move Sonic has, so maybe, maybe the high power will be enough to compensate for not doing much damage. Give this a try. And a little will be like, I don't even feel this. You see what I mean? So much damage. Even though it wasn't very effective. Alright. Brick break. And of course, once again, not doing really anything. And I have a bad feeling this also is not going to do anything. Oh god, Aqua Jet. That seems to have done more damage to me. Which is crazy. Oh my god, once again. I have a feeling it might not be enough here either. It might not be enough either. Thank you. God, that thing was so bulky. And of course, you don't even get the level up either. 
Good job, Psyduck. All that hard work and you don't even get the level up. Okay, no item right there. No item right there either. Yep, and another trainer. Please don't have a little Mola. Would greatly appreciate if I don't see that again. So you are gonna have Marini, which is poison, which hey, Diglett, immune, and ground type moves. Only problem is no HP. Hopefully you don't hit first. Only problem is you're very defensive, so you could survive this hit possibly. And thankfully you didn't. Alright, good job, Diglett, for once. And get to level 21. Alright. That moment when your Pokemon has more HP than your, you know, more attack than your HP. You know you're going to be in trouble if you get hit then. Alright, now Psyduck's close to leveling up, so you're going to go up front. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there is an item. I knew there was one around here. And yeah, don't. Well, I can run across the salad later on, so that could be useful. Alright, here we go. This island right here, because there's trainers right here. And I think there might be another island around here, too. Alright. So you have two. Shelter. And thankfully, Psyduck has Brick Break, but unfortunately, Shelter's a lot high defense, so I got a feeling you're going to be surviving these hits. Quick break. Oh my god! Psyduck! Come on! Really? That little on a super effective move? I know Shell has high defense, but still! Should've done way more than that! And stop it, Icicle Spear! Ow! No! All five times! That did more damage to me! <sighs> Not good! That's more like it. Oh god, now confused. Freaking land with 55 actually too. Pain! Come on. Break, break. Oh my god, back to doing no damage. No! I sick of spear. No, I might knock you out if you hit all five times! Stop, after two! Please stop! 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 Stop hitting Psyduck! No! Come on, 18%! No! Stop! No! Come on, faction! And, of course, all five times twice in a row? What are the odds of that? Come on! It's 37% chance to hit three and four times each, and then it's like 18% hit five times, and it's back-to-back -back times! We have skill link, or whatever that ability is, which I think Shelter actually can get, which is terrifying. Because I think that doubles accuracy. Alright, Corsola. Because you're not going to really do good here. You know what? Let's give Olomola a go. You're part rock, so your water resistance is now neutral. Alright, so now Aqua Jet. And of course, Alola Mola, all defense, but it can't really do anything offensively. Ouch, a crit. You know what? This is going to be a lot weaker, though, because Aqua Jet's not that good. But hey, if anything to make the battle shorter, I will take. Oh my god, this cutscene takes so long. Alright. Unfortunate. No! Not recover! No! This battle is going to take forever again because I have nothing that can one-shot it! Oh my god! Pain! In fact, Aqua Jet does so little damage that she can recover her HP all the way back! Oh my god, now I wish I had Spite or something to get rid of recover. Please. No! Stop spamming recover! Like, the only thing I can have that could possibly take it on is Psyduck, who decided to get knocked out by a skill link. 
Ancient power. That would be very bad if you get the buff. Don't get the buff. That hurt a lot, too. Thank God. Don't get that buff. Don't scare me like that. And of course, knowing my luck, now it's probably not going to do enough again. Come on, a little more get that crit. Ray, you're supposed to get the crit. Thank you for being an idiot and doing bubble beam. Thank you, I appreciate that. Here we go. Bye-bye. Thank God. That was annoying. And you only need to get a level up here, which is very appreciative. And there should be more trainers up here, too, I think. In fact, I think it's a double battle. Up a TM. Thunder Wave, good. Not as good as that Charge Beam one earlier. Oh, okay, never mind. There is no trainer around right here. Alright. So, that takes care of everything around here. Other than, of course, getting the encounters. Which will probably do off screen, but let's get this cutscene started. Or never mind, no cutscene shows up. Alright, so I gotta get everyone healed up. And I'm gonna probably come off come here on screen and catch some new members for the upcoming trial after which which is grass. Alright, so that is gonna finally wrap up this episode here, guys. See you all next time.